Hi uh, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So let's get straight into this video. I wanna talk about how no darkness will ever overcome you. So if you're watching this video and you know, you're a chosen one, you're someone who is of light, like you're of God, you're gonna have darkness following you throughout your whole life, just trying to break you, right? Trying to stop you, trying to get you to stay down, you know, stay low, stay tired, stay, stay weak stay oppressed right stay as a slave stay in chains right you're gonna have things that are gonna try to just keep you contained dark things that try to keep you contained right so you don't move so you don't move with god and this is what has been happening to you throughout your whole life because of the anointing that you have you've been constantly attacked demonically attacked by things whether these things are through people places whether they're from substances whether it's from some sort of distraction whether it's from some sort of belief something has always been trying to destroy you right which of course that's the enemy the devil he's always been trying to send things your way to destroy you right but you're built to overcome the darkness you probably know so you've never actually been in the dark and stayed there you always ended up overcoming it you never just ended up getting destroyed by it right just know if you're watching this video no type of darkness will ever kill you will ever stop you the only thing it could do is delay you right and it frustrates you and make you mad but whenever you get frustrated right because you're someone who's chosen you have a whole lot of power you have a lot of power as soon as you get frustrated like when something truly angers you you're gonna break it in half right because you're gonna use that anger because the anger that you have is a holy anger right it's a righteous anger so whenever there's enough darkness that truly pisses you off and makes you angry you're gonna you're gonna destroy that darkness that's how powerful you are and you probably notice this about yourself too whenever something is really trying to get under your skin is really trying to hurt you whatever this thing is or people whatever it is as soon as it starts to really make you mad you end up you end up destroying it right eradicating it and that's the type of power that you have that's that's what you're created to do that's why you face all these things this is why these things try to follow you because god already knows the outcome of these things right is that you're going to be the winner because you have him on your side so you have his power on you so no no matter what darkness comes your way it'll never overcome you right your light will always overcome it because that's god god will always overcome that Thing. so it doesn't matter what comes through you but all these things come into your life because they're created to stop you and slow you down and they want to destroy you right the devil comes to steal kill and destroy that's what these things or whatever it is this is why they come into your life right this is why you also have to have discernment and know what's going on like know when to resist temptation know when to discern like who's around you and like what they're saying no no when it's a devil in your life not god right and you know when the devil is in your life because you not only are you tempted to sin you're tempted just to do sinful things but you also start to go outside of your spirit right you start feeling things like anger you start feeling things like rage you start feeling things like envy you start feeling things like you just start feeling things that are not of god right You'll, you'll you'll feel this like darkness be around you and you're like okay something's definitely going on this is spiritual warfare right and if you're chosen this is why it happened to to you throughout your whole life it's as if like something's been something you can't see has been kind of like attacking you right throughout many different outcomes this is always something that feels like it's been like kind of like targeting you and that's been the enemy the whole time because the enemy has seen that you're someone that's anointed the enemy has seen that you're someone who's going to spread god throughout the world right you're going to spread love throughout the world you're going to free people from chains from slavery and everything right this is what you do if you're chosen this is what you do you bring people to light you bring them to god you get them out of oppression and lies and manipulation and slavery right you get them out of these things But the devil wants to destroy every single human. So he wants every human oppressed, right? Living in lies and delusions and illusions and manipulation. And he targets you because you're the one that sees through all these things. You see them for what they are. So you get he you get heavily attacked, right? The darkness tries to attack you. It tries to destroy you a lot. It follows you around. It's kind of like a little parasite that follows you around. 
but just know that no matter how much it follows you around you always end up you always end up beating it right because you have god on your side if you have god on your side then you're not going to lose a single battle because you have god with you so if you're watching this video and you're going through a season where you seem to have darkness after darkness on you whatever these things or people are or whatever the situation is if you're going through that type of season just know this is 100 percent confirmation just know that you're going to overcome it you're going to overcome it and you're going to become better and you're going to become smarter and you're going to know why it came into your life right you're going to know who brought it into your life what attracted that thing into your life right you're gonna you're gonna know you're gonna start to see it for what it is right you're gonna start to see spiritual warfare for what it is and that's another confirmation if you're going through spiritual warfare that god is using you right if you're going through heavy spiritual warfare god's hand is on your life and the enemy sees that so he doesn't want you to do that because you're gonna help you're gonna free other people you're gonna help a lot of people you're gonna free people from lies you're gonna expose the truth out right because the devil's a lie so the devil just runs a whole lie throughout the whole world so spreading things that are completely false spreading delusion spreading deceit right the devil just only deceives and he knows that you're somebody that could see these things because you've always had this discernment about you so you can see what's really going on and the enemy knows that so he's going to try to cloud your mind with he's going to try to oppress you right he's going to try to oppress you through any means necessary whatever it could be from temptation to to drugs to people around you like you get narcissistic people around you that start to start to almost feel as if the devil's talking through them and which he is right because narcissistic people have demons inside of them and you'll have these type of people go around your life they'll, they'll start to say things that put confusion in your head right you start to get confused you start to get doubt you get gaslit, right? It's all its all to stop you. It's all to stop you and turn you into a little nobody, pretty much. That's what the devil wants to do. He, he wants to make sure you do not know who you are. He wants to make sure you don't believe what God said, right? He wants to, he wants you to think that God, God is a liar, right? That's what the devil does. But we know God, God, isn't, God isn't a liar. The devil's a liar. It's in scripture. That's the only one that lies. God doesn't lie. So whenever you have situations to where you you know God put it in your spirit that you're you're this person, this is what you're going to do. But then you also have an, another side of you, which is the devil starts to talk and say, no, that's not true. This is this is just who you are. This is a, you're living in illusion. It's a lie. It's fake. This is just who you are. You only this. Right. But you can tell from your intuition that what God told you, that's the truth. So you're going to have this constant pull in your life if you're chosen. You're gonna have the darkness try to pull you and try to drag you down while you're gonna have God pull you up and God break all these things away from you, right? It's gonna be it's gonna be a battle. This is why God says to put on put on the armor of God so you stand the enemy's schemes because there's gonna be a lot of schemes that get thrown your way. Because the enemy has many little weapons that he has but none of them prosper, right? Because no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So whatever weapon you have formed against you it's gonna it's gonna irritate you it's gonna hurt you a little bit but it doesn't prosper it won't prosper as in the main reason it came into your life which was to destroy you right to end you that won't happen if anything god uses that weapon and it strengthens you even more then you become even more powerful then you start to see the deception for what it is you get even more powerful so god uses these this darkness and these traumas and everything to to build you up and strengthen you a lot because without these traumas and darkness you live ignorantly you don't you don't have strength you don't have willpower you don't have character so all these things get built right this is why he allows them to happen into your life because they all serve a purpose the things that are meant to destroy you actually end up making you even stronger making you even bigger making you even faster making you even more mightier than you already are right because the thing that came to destroy you, you destroyed it and you became stronger, right? So instead of getting destroyed, you became even more powerful. That's how God uses the darkness. So the devil sends it your way to destroy you. You turn it into something that makes you even more powerful. You turn it into something that makes you even more aggressive, right? Even more on fire for God, even more on fire for people in general. It just keeps getting you stronger. This is why they get thrown your way. 
That's why they say God gives his toughest battles to his toughest soldiers because he knows the toughest soldiers can handle it, right? They're going to conquer that. They're going to conquer that darkness. They're going to body that darkness, right? But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just know that no matter what darkness is in your life, no matter what it is, it's not going to prosper. It's only going to be there for a temporary amount of time until you conquer it, until you see it for what it is. And then after after you end up conquering it, you get even more powerful, right? It's another it's another challenge you beat. It's, it's, it's another tower that you climbed. So now you have even more intelligence. Now you have even more confidence. Now you have even more wisdom, right? That's how you, that's how you're getting built throughout your whole life. That's like God's been building you throughout your whole life, right? If he specifically calls you for a purpose, that's how he's been building you, so. But yeah, of course, don't forget to subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, don't forget to like. And don't forget to comment anything below. All right, God bless you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.